I want to take this opportunity to welcome one of our top leaders in East Africa. She's a lady who has joined the business moving with high speed. She's a mover, a shaker. She's really moving business, not only in Kenya, but internationally. So she happens to be from this team. And I'm taking this opportunity to welcome Grace Chege to come and share with these uh, future diamonds. So welcome, Grace. Thank you so much, uh, PT, my upline. And I'm very honored this moment. Thank you for inviting me. I know you are very well connected with many leaders in the New Life world. And uh, also I'm privileged to be part of your team and I'm very, very happy. I am here uh, to just say, uh, I'm happy for inviting me. I'm happy I can see a lot of distributors, a lot of my friends, I can see Betty, I can see Taiwo, our world team leader from Nigeria and all, all my friends, all of them, even if I don't mention you, most of the people, almost 90% of people here, I, I, I think we have met or interacted. So my name is Grace Chege, I know you know that, and uh, I am so, so happy. I'm a Turubi director in your life. And this opportunity, you know, uh, as per my story, she found me eight years ago when I was still employed. And the reason in my why for joining this opportunity was I wanted extra income. Uh, as a HR, it's not that I was not getting a good salary, but I had a challenge. Um, my husband, uh, having been sick and... Uh, you know, we were in debt and there was a lot of needs. And for me, when I found this opportunity, I know opportunity and our mission across the world is making the world a healthier and a happier place. Don't forget that. So health is involved, but me, I saw the money. I saw the opportunity and I took it very seriously. I remember very well that time when I attended the meeting at uh, the Hilton Hotel, I was mesmerized by the stories. And I want to tell you, every time you are sharing your story as a distributor, be very excited because you are going to attract. We've just listened, and thank you so much, uh, our upline, uh, Bundi, for sharing about Jim Rohn, because that is just so powerful about attraction. And for me, I was attracted by the people I saw that day. And I was like, sorry, excuse me. I was like, if these people can do it, and me, I was really focused on the professionals. I said, if these professionals can do it, why not me? So at that very moment, I, I believed in myself. Something was burst inside me. I was feeling like I have a new energy. And don't forget, all this new energy was bubbling inside me. And I was at a guest, <laughs> even not yet a distributor. I was a guest and I was feeling like, I will join, I'll make this, this, this decision and I'm going to be just like these people. There is no way I doubted that I'm not going to be like these people. My only small worry was like, no, these products, I didn't understand how the products would make me travel. I didn't understand how the products would, you know, make me get money. But for me, I was like, mm. now I think I've followed something. I don't know what this network is and all those things. So at that moment, I was very, very, I've, I felt the belief. And one of the things I'll encourage us to, is to up our belief, even when we hear testimonies of other distributors, because my story has not been built only by me. My story has been built by my upline, uh, 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 Bundi, and so many other people who have contributed to my growth. Today, I'll say that I'm not a true Ruby director by my own. It is through the mentorship of, of people like our applying Bundi and just assuring me it can be done because even him, he started this business on part-time. So today, as we are here as distributors, there's something I want us to, to really discuss, your why. I know we always think, we always tell our guests to think about their why, but today, one of the things that has made me grow through the eight years is keeping my why so alive. And remember, I joined to make extra income. So when you think about money, you don't think like, I want money, I want money, I want money. In your life, you will have to think, now I want money. What is the plan? What are the goals I need to do? What is the strategy? Because I want the money, but the plan has to come. First, I have to know, how do I become this 
for me, I will tell you, hey, I never wanted to become a manager. I never wanted to become a senior manager. Me, when I joined your life, I wanted to become a director. Have you, have you ever met ambitious people like me? And I was, you know, I was looking at director income and I was saying the problems I have, I think if I start earning that 500 US dollars, I, my problems will come down. So my dream was too big. Imagine as a guest, you paying, you're a distributor and you're just thinking how you're going to become a director. But that's a very good uh, challenge. It's a very good thought. Because for me, that propelled me to think every day, how will I become the plan? Then I was told about the plan. At least I sponsor three people per month. I do my 100 points and I, I joined in your life and I stepped up. And I stepped up, you can see now the belief from the, from the, from the guest. And because I was so sold out to now this business and I wanted to become like these people, even when I was told to go and look for money to step up as a senior manager, I didn't have the money, but I said, I'm going to look for the money. So me, I always tell people, me, I started on a very positive note. I started on, this is what I want and I am going to succeed. There is no way I saw like I'm not succeeding. Me, I was successful from the word go. And I remember I was told one of the plans is to sacrifice for training. Now you see me, I'm not used to this culture of after five. After five, I was going home and, you know, employed. And, you know, if I'm going somewhere, maybe for tea or coffee or maybe my own errands. But now comes this business. I am not seeming like I might get a lot of money quickly because I was told by Isaac who sponsored me that, okay, yeah, there is some work to do, yeah? You can just become a director. And me, I accepted. And so I looked at the plan of training and I was so happy to know that people were training after 5 p.m. Our business is very accommodating. There's nobody who can't grow. That's why you see even people who are so busy like me, they join your life and they still do this business. So the plan, what is your plan as a distributor? What is your plan as a senior manager, as an executive manager, as a director? Me, one of the things I used to do is to, <laughs> when I was a senior manager, I used to always look at this picture when they call me as a director, how will I talk? So I started building this momentous, positive spirit of going to director. And I just didn't want to become a director. It was not a fancy or just a fallacy thing. I went and I understood the how. Isaac drew for me the circles. And I looked at it, I said, okay. Seems like a lot of work, but I'm still ready to do it. <laughs> I went, because I've told you about the plan. You know the plan and you start actualizing it. I started actualizing it and within the plan now, actualizing the plan, that is where I got a lot of discouragement. I got a lot of no's. And my friends were telling me, seriously, you mean you don't know this company, Grace? Are you new in, new in Nairobi? And I was feeling like, you know, what is really happening? And I'm saying this so that, you know, in the journey of success, either from director to where you want to go, from where you are, if you are a senior manager, challenges will be there. And me, I face challenges head on. Why? Because I was going for training. Because in the training, I remember people used to be brought and tell us that that senior manager, please share with us your story. And that's why it's very good to understand distributors training. And now that's when you find that a lot of people contributed that how their parents or their relatives or people they knew discouraged them. And this is how now I found that it's not only me. Someone else has been discouraged. It's not only me. You mean, okay, you mean your sister has refused. You mean my sister refusing is not, is not like a, a mad or something. So now the encouragement to grow in pain, because sometimes you just don't grow when things are good. You grow in pain. Hey, I can tell you, my friends, 
my two sisters, I have two sisters. They were the first people to tell me that business cannot work. Mm -mm. Those things of selling grace, those things you are saying, and uh -uh, they can't work. But just last week, actually last Friday, they were really waiting for the gifts I brought them from Durban. What has changed with them now is their thinking. They have changed their thinking. They have changed everything and they have embraced new life because of the person I have become. Jim Ron, on that video that PT put, he said, you attract people. What also attracts people is when I share my story and somebody says, Grace, I will do the business. If you are that patient and you made it. So please always share your story as it is so that people can know. So the plan and the strategy. So you can tell me, Grace, after now, people saying no, hey, I didn't stop. I was told talk to the next person. So the one who said no, I didn't take it them negatively. I just went to the other person and I looked for other areas. I keep for people to, you know, I remember one of my directors, I met them in Amatatu. So you can see, I joined in 2014 and one of my leaders I found in Amatatu, I think I met them in December 52. That tells you what, that even before I come and do this business on social media in a big way, I was already used to that people can say no. So I was very comfortable in talking to people in my tattoos, in weddings, anywhere, because I knew ah, these cousins of mine who are refusing me, I can get other people. So the training was I was getting was not at in Angelia Hapa, in Atokia Hapa, like Taiwo, I'm saying, the training I'm, I was getting is not like it was just getting through here and gets out here. I was really actualizing it. I was saying the leaders who taught us yesterday or last week, they said, you can talk to someone anywhere, even in an elevator and they can join your business. And I can tell you, it's very sad that leader of mine is not alive today, but I can tell you that a business last month, that business closed over 7,000 points. And that leader is not, not alive. That tells you network never die. That tells you you need tomorrow, if you're using public means you need to talk to the driver, you need to talk to someone seated next to you because for you to go to the things you desire, to go to, to go to go things you desire to make that check, it will, you will have to involve other people to this dream of yours. So for me, I will strategic. Anywhere I see it, I have new life in my heart. Another leader, I got one of my directors, even before social media, I went to an event, a HR, I was sent by my boss. That event, remember it was happening at Panari. And me, I saw a lot of stakeholders, a lot of stakeholders for the government, they were there, even governors. And I said, God help me to just get one person from here, one. If you don't carry the business in your heart, no matter what Piti Bundi tells you, or no matter what your upline director tells you, Robane, any director here tells you, or even me, if you don't carry your business in your heart, you will be forgetting it immediately. After this training, you forget it. The next time Piti Bundi calls up for a training, oh, you remember your business. Carry your business every day. Hey, I went there and I was looking for one person. Sometimes there could be a lot of people. But also speak to God and tell God, just connect me with one person. Sometimes there are so many people you say, oh, will I talk to? No, then talk to one person. Talk to the next person. So I talked to someone and today that person has brought me and in that leg, I have how many directors? Ajahonga, Lois Moshiri, Isaboke. Three directors from a stranger I found in a seminar. That seminar was not for you and my friend. It was for ISO certification. I'm also educated on ISO certification matters. So I want to ask you as my fellow distributor, what is your plan, your strategy? And this, all these stories that I'm saying, you can see they are propelled by a desire. All this time I was carrying this desire to succeed. And I remember, how did I get to director? After getting so many people who are discouraging me, I talked to a colleague of mine in the office and I told him, please give me at least five people. Anthony, Anthony told me, Grace, I love your business, but me, I can't do it. 
I can't sell. I told I told Anthony it's not about sell. So he didn't. It's okay. But guess what? I told Anthony, please give me at 20 people. I gave him a name list. My friends, name list is powerful. Name list, very powerful. So even if people don't join the business, I'm trying to say in the office and he wrote me. I thought he would like at least 30 people. He wrote me only five. Okay. So I asked him, Anthony, five people. That told me, ah, those people, but he circled one person. He told me this one, this one I've circled, call him. And Grace, because I see you have the desire to succeed in this business. Now, remember all this time I'm, I'm having a conversation with Anthony, my colleague in the office, my friend. Now, what do I want to do? Now, you see, my dream is so alive. I am so hungry for success. I am there. I was going to Anthony's day like these five names. How pushy are you? Can you push your dream? Can you push? Some things you're not going to just get them like this. So this person, by, this person was circled, the first person ever sit. That's sometimes you just need one. Hey, when I was it joined, I became a director like this because I was brought so. But all these people are for I now. I wanted to see, but there was still my people supporting I was it, and even I was it. You told me. I became a sapphire director. You can see now the, the great the great thing about building leaders and building other people. When I was it first came and you know he, he saw that excited. And when I was telling him my story much later, he told me, Chris, but I don't understand. When I found you, you were too excited. Hey, I told him now. I was a Excited, but I was still a senior manager. So, okay, you know, when you were declared to become a director, I was like, Grace has, was already a director. So are you walking the talk? Do you have enough faith as a distributor? That is how I was, it. <laughs> was so flabbergasted that Grace, okay, you are now becoming a director. I thought you were a director. You've been conducting yourself, my upline as the director. Please don't just wait for PT to push you or your upline director or your upline senior manager. Become that person and then attract Jim Rowe. Because going even to other counties as a senior manager, I was, I remember my first presentation here in Kenya. I did it in Kiroboya and we went with Isaac. And Isaac told me, Grace, I'm going to do the presentation. And I told him, it's okay, I'm going to do it. And let me tell you, I was not even knowing whether I'm saying Kalmag, whether I'm you know, the way people to, to be so ready. Just do it. You know, I mastered that. There was no these things of Zoom. At I don't know projectors. We were just doing like uh, the wellness triangle. So where there is karate, I used to in I was saying the I was not saying the right thing. But guess what? Those those guests I was not. I didn't know everything. Hey, and after that. After that Kiroguya meeting, I remember joined. And then Isaac told me, you see, Grace, you see, people didn't know whether I carried or not or anywhere because Isaac came and closed and this is the support we get in this business. And I can tell you the support, the support I've gotten from uh, Petit Bundi and, and, and Director Rubani. You know, I just want us, if you know, this clap is for Bundi and Rubani. You know, you guys are just seeing this America business. You don't know how. Hmm. Me and these people, we have gone to Maua. You know, there's a day, I don't know whether you remember that day. We went to Maua and people didn't come. Hmm? People didn't come. And uh, I was telling Pitibundi, and then I'll, I'll not be going to Maua. And that, it's very good to have an encourager. Thank you, Pitibundi. You are the real encourager. You told me, let's keep going. You know, everybody needs somebody. And let me tell you, we should really be proud of our leaders. We should really be proud of leaders like Robane. 
and so many other leaders because they really, they are the people who have anchored this dream of this international business in America. Because I used to go with them, we just go there, we get 15 people, 10 people, other people don't come, I don't know, the, it has rained. You know, Pitibundi, people just see the glory. They don't know the process. I remember when I, had, I, I even broke my feet. Yani, hey, my husband used to take me from Komarok to, to Ruisambo and then Pitibundi, I ride on his car. I was on clutches. I want to ask you. <laughs> I had broken my leg and I was on two clutches. And I used to go as far as Meru, as far as Kisumu, as far as Kisi. I just rested there. You know, when, when my toes broke, four of them, when they broke and I had the, I just rested like three weeks for, you know, it was a bit painful. But you know, I asked myself, my dream is so big. Now I'm staying this, with this thing for three months. Ah, me, I'm going to start going. And I started going. And there was somebody to support me. Told me, Grace, we shall go to Taenda. So he used to come, Taenda, I just enter slowly with my clutches. <laughs> when we get to Maua, my, my, my foot is so swollen and I feel like, you know, that inflammation. And then got for our product because I removed that plaster even before the date of the doctor had declared. Hey, Calmac, I used to take like seven in a day. These products, eat them, eat them, they are good. So I tell you, I remember I get out of Pitibundi's car and then he has to support me together with Rubane and other leaders to go upstairs. I just want to tell you, the things that you want, they are within reach, but you got to stretch yourself a bit. You've got to stretch yourself a bit. Do see it. This is a major pity, Bundy. And a far kunio neo ruma, you know, him and Noyangu, him a quake in you. You know, you know, my director, Rubane, you know, my upline, Eunice, or you know, whoever your director is or your upline, don't make that person like live to understand for you, do the business for you, go for the meeting for you, and you want the results. Mm -mm, it can't happen. Just take the leadership. From senior manager, I've told you I took up the leadership. So we need people that can support us. Look, the way Bitibundi has been supporting me, together with so many other leaders. But I want to say specifically, for me to get this US team, it is the support of Rubane and Bitibundi. They have been with me for so long. For so long. Not just now that you see the US team for so long. How long can you be patient as you await what God has in store for you? The greatest thing, we have the support system and it's right here. So that as you wait for, you know, as you wait for all these things, and I'm not just talking about America, even here in Kenya, the accountants have gone severally. And I'm like, seriously? Now these people have come here and are they getting that I want to help them. They have not even arrived in this meeting. So positive attitude is very important. It helps attract people to you. Even those people who are so down, they feel like there's somebody who told me in Kisumu, you know, Grace, the way you used to come here, you come until you make me positive, until I, I feel bad when you arrive before me in the meeting, because you are coming and you're not stopping. Can you be an anchor to somebody? Can you be a person who values people? The people are very important in our business. And I can tell you, check your company. In all these things, in all the steps I've making up to two Ruby, there are people who came and they talked badly about our products, you know, fake things, eh? Fake things about this one, about this one. And for me, I was just like listening and I'm saying, me, I have my dream of becoming a president. So this one with all their stories and excuses and what did not happen and how Nini Supergrow is out of stock and they blame everybody. You can sell other products, not only Supergrow as we await for Supergrow. So you know, check your company. Which company do you keep? Are you keeping the company of winners? Look at me at my moment of need because I kept the right company with Piti Bundi and Rubane and all the leaders who are here. I kept the right company. They were there for me even when I was on clutches. 
you know, there are people who don't help you. The way you discuss with people, I, I this month, I've, it is 25th. I've not, I've not done 100 points. Has, has Bundy called you? Has Rogani called you? Eh? Has, you know, has you had, uh, Eunice called you? Has Nancy called you? Director Nancy, has she called you? Has Taiwo called you? Has Yasmin called you? You know, those are companies of people who, you know, they are not positive. They are discussing about 100 points when some people are doing 2,000 points. Now, how now, how do we get even now to, to 250 if we are discussing about 100? It's to know I problem in selling, a big one. This HR had a problem. I had not sold anything. So for me, I was asking Isaac, now, Actually, I had not understand that I had to do these 100 points every month. Now, you see, as a distributor, I become a senior manager, the next month I have to do 100. And I was told it's a must, it's not optional. And me, me I'm, I'm, I'm obedient. I love rules because I also make them as a HR. So I told Isaac, okay, now, no, so now I have to have 100 points. He told me, yes, every month. <laughs> I did quit, but I was just buying three trainers but I've never missed to do 100 points. These days, I, I never do 100 points. I do over 250 points. But that tells you, I want to tell you the real me. I had those challenges. You know, I'm not a certain kind of perfect person. I had those challenges. I had those fears. Take challenge positively. Take them positively. Because even now, <laughs> if I tell you how I did this business on social media, I really can't tell you now, at exactly now, what really happened. But you see, I, I was so mad to see we don't have results in Kenya, yet every time, even that time of COVID, everything was about Tanzania. And I say, these Tanzanians are my friends. Eh? Ask for help. I took my phone and I called Hosiana. I took my phone, I called Husna, I called Vicky. Those are Ruby directors. Four Ruby, Hosiana. Three Ruby, Husna. Two Ruby, Vicky. I have told you, check your associations. Eh? So me, I didn't say that, mm, this Tanzania. Mm. No, me, I said, mm -hmm, these people, they are going to, they have to tell me what they are doing. And you see, I, they told me, Grace, we are not doing anything like you don't know. Just follow us, look at what we are doing, and then let us know your pages. Let's see what you are doing so that we tell you. Guess what? In no time, hey, I was just doing, and they were telling me, tick everything I could do. And I tell Hosiana in the evening, have you checked my site? She's like, ah, you tell everything you've put is okay. So that time of COVID, it was like me learning new things. Let's adjust to learning new things. We can adjust to learn new things. And today I can tell you, me, if I don't come on Zoom, 7 a.m., I'll do it. Midnight, I'll do it. Because Zoom has transformed. I even, I'm one of the people who have my own Zooms. And I, I started having my own Zooms before. I even, I even pay it every month. You know, use some money. I remember I paid to have my own Zoom even when I didn't know whether Zoom will work for me. Can you apply some faith? Because now I was saying this Zoom of 40 minutes, it's getting where, it's finished. Now I said, ah, I'm going to use money. It's how much? Ah, it's, I almost say like uh, 2K in a month. Ah, I'll do it. You know, you have to stretch yourself. So social media for me is a platform that nobody should ignore. The people that were at uh, KICC yesterday had my story that connecting on social media has made me to meet new people, extremely new people. Who I, who, like today this evening, I was talking to a student at KCA. He told me, Grace, I've been following you on Instagram and I really want to learn. I, I, and he's been coming for Zoom, even yesterday was in the US Zoom, he's called Elias. So this young man, he's on second year. He's not yet paid. But you know, you told me the way you just post everything. You inspired me. You are my mentor. He's not paid, but be assured this guy will join. I'm following up because yesterday I told people, it's not just about posting this on social media. It's about the follow-up you do. Even some people after social media, let me tell you, they are a bit negative, but you know, now I follow them up. I, I give them different stories. Okay, I bring a story of somebody, I bring a story of hope, I bring them the story of Eric Ocheng, a story of hope, I bring this, this other story, I don't just use my story, sometimes my story will not work, sometimes your story will not work, you have to now get this guy who is on the forces, you have to bring up the story of our upline Bundi, you have to bring the story of Maina, you have to bring the story if you get announced the story of Nancy, the story of this one. So for me today, I can see so many things, but it's about valuing people, it's about checking the company, 
taking the challenge positively, building people, and you just being patient because it's not an easy work. Because from 2018, when I became a one ruby, and I just got my step to two ruby in uncertainty, and this is the power of new life during COVID, and I stepped up, you know, in 2021, January. I, I confirmed and I, I got my, my incentive of $2,000. What am I trying to say? It's, it's not just automatic, but it is that desire, commitment, you know, consistency because our business is very consistent and just that being excited because about attraction when you attract people, uh, you know, everything. I also like uh, John C. Maxwell, go and read. It really inspires me on leadership to be a better leader because I'm learning every day. So I can see so much, but I'm so excited to be invited back to you, Piti Bundi. Thank you so much, Grace. I, I like that uh, kind of sharing. And uh, Grace does it very naturally because she is doing it every day. Of course, when you develop an habit, it then becomes part of you. So even if, even if you call Grace anytime, she will repeat the same training because it has become part of her. Now, Grace, there's a question there. Uh, if, if, if I can ask you this question, uh, if, if, what is your take on events? Because uh, I, I know we had an event on Saturday. There are some people in Nairobi. I can see some people here, very committed, very, they want to achieve very big things. But uh, mm. for example, like me and Ali, they meet on such events. What is, what is your advice on them, to them? First, me, I've never missed an event. The only event I missed that was very big. I was in India for my husband's treatment. I don't miss events. Even my sisters know, my family know. If Grace has those things of new life, don't commit her to anything. She will not miss those events for anything. Let me tell you events, they have changed my mind. Look at my story, I joined in an event. I have really raised leaders who have invited in events. Events, just don't bring only people, bring people to here. Because when people hear my friends and like now we are good because COVID, you know, is we are having the physical meetings. When people hear and see, remember me, I went to that Hilton meeting, I had, and I saw real people. Let me tell you, my attitude was changed. Even us as distributors, our spirit is heightened in events. We are encouraged as distributors to keep going. We learn. You know, you learn, you mean, okay, that is what Amulavu has said about all oh, that product care. I didn't know that one about Super 10. And you know, don't say, oh, Grace, you are a to be a director and you didn't know. You know, it's the way of hearing it now again in that amphitheater. There's that excitement, Yanni, hey, like the one that was there for Ophonic yesterday. The excitement was real. It was so real. It was, you know, you were just dancing. Nobody was forcing you to dance. So events build you as a leader first. Watch it now again. They build you as a leader. Why we have people who have consistently done this business and they're recognized. I know Piti Bundi was recognized for confirming 12 out of 12 in Durban. It is that consistency that builds that business, that builds the leadership in you. You know, sometimes people are very busy chasing after the guest. The problem is you. So we need to develop you on events. Please be coming for events, please. That one, I actually, we can't argue with Ibundi. Events are everything. They change you as a leader and your guest and even your team. Even if your team was one person, let me tell you, when you see events being put, cancel. You think yesterday, do you have them? Okay, it is someone from our church, but I supported them with my money. I didn't go for the wedding, you know. You don't have to be in situation you are going, where are eating, what. You can be in that event. And when you are there, you as a person, your spirit will be heightened because of that, the power of somebody else sharing. Wow, that was a powerful grace. I think what challenged me yesterday, I saw one of your leaders, Mary Owaka, traveling all from Omabe to come and attend a media rally. Don't you think? Yeah, you see, it is something I've duplicated in my team. Yes. 
and uh, I just want to say this, Piti Bundi is our upline. But let us duplicate, duplicate your business as a senior manager. Make sure those people add, you know, the way me I advertise events, people think, hey, Jesus is coming tomorrow. <laughs> I, I make sure I advertise those events until somebody says, eh, what is this media rally that Grace is saying? I'm so excited. I remind people how they are going to wear, how we are going to look, how Dr. Ofonek, even if I don't know him, how is going to really, you know, how do you take the event to the people? Imagine Melia Waka, a teacher. She just told me, Grace, I'm from the classroom. On Friday, she was in class until 4, 5 p.m. because she was on duty. She told me I'm on duty, but I've already booked the bus to Nairobi. Just look at that commitment. But I can assure you, Melia Waka, since COVID happened, she has not gotten less than 80,000 every month since 2020. You can see now what is happening to her. And she doesn't tell me, you know, I'm in Omabe, I'm the teacher on duty this week. She told me I'm on duty. I have a lot of work, but I've already booked the bus. You know, can you know that you can do this business on part time? Teachers are doing it. I did it. You are here. You are doing it. But how is your commitment? Or are you always saying, having an excuse? Me, anyway, Pity told us, me, I don't take excuses for whatsoever. And my team knows, and they are very happy with that because they've said I've given them a new culture of life, not only about new life. Yes, Pity. Thank you so Let much. Let me look for my charger. I, 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 I think, uh, I think uh, what Grace has done is, especially the professionals, Grace started the business as a professional. I remember I used to go and see her in a, a international house, consumer options, where she was working. So the commitment that she put has made even other professionals to see the business. I have so many professionals in my team here. I know Akinawamboi, people are working, Akina Mangret, they are working, Akina Faith Kimani. I know so many people are working, but still doing the business. So you can follow Grace's example, very busy, doing the business in a crazy way. So I, I, I've visited Grace where she used to work. I've seen her committing herself while working. And of course, myself, personally, I've been working. I was working when I started the business. So I know, and I understand one thing, Grace, that busy people are the best to do this business. Because if you show them, they will be busy doing it. I was looking for idle people. Then I discovered when they joined my business, they also end on doing it. So let us be serious with what we are doing. Events are very important. And for example, now there's a meeting that are partnered with a certain leader from Uganda called uh, Andrew Bugembe. And we have been joining meeting from six, six in the morning to 6.30 every morning. I know Rachel, Rachel is uh, in the meeting. She has been joining the meeting from six. So I'm encouraging some professionals here who are very busy. Well Maybe done, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel has been joining the meeting from six to 6.30. So I really want to encourage all of us that we can do this business in a better way. So Grace, I really want to appreciate you. You have shared so many things. And I think because Grace is one of us, is one of my daughters in the business, we can always call her anytime. And one thing that I like about Grace is the kind of energy. Because Grace will comment. Even in Diamond Club, by the way, Grace has more than 20 groups, but she will comment in Diamond's Club, Embu team, Superstars, Victor's team, every team she is commenting. But the kind of energy Grace has is, I think we need to copy this leader, and I know we are all becoming a, a PT. So please make sure that. Uh, you are following Grace on Pity, Sorry. Let me encourage people. Yes. That my first check when I came to this business was 1,400. But last month in your life paid me 354,800. Mm -hmm. I am not saying this to intimidate, to intimidate anyone, but I just want to ask you how big is your dream? No, no company could pay me that money. That is what New Life paid me last month. That is actually last week. And that check has been consistently like that since COVID. So 
let's just take seriously what we have in our hands. We have a very, very big international business and let's take the leadership we have. Thank you, Pity. Thank you so much, Grace. Actually, I looked at her check because me, I'm able to, to check all the checks in my team. So I checked the, the, the check of Grace last month because that is one of the leader. I checked the check of Josephus Kariuki. And let me tell you the kind of money these people are making. 364. How many professionals? How many? Three, 354. Imagine that salary is Siju Kamata PS or your pesa. That is that is a lot. Of, and I remember Grace, you also handed some 45,000 yesterday at KICC. Yes, for incentive. For the incentive. China man does. Mbeti unaona aji. Naona vile unanjiangali hapo. You are mutant. 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 Yes. Yes, yes I can't talk. I'm dumb. I can't talk now. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Just take the action. Sponsor. I can't breathe. You've moved me today. I feel like walking out and going to do the business in the middle of the night. Start again. Answer Leo. Oh, yes, my dear. I'm the right, right there. Coming behind you. I think I think Mbete is really following you in social media. So she needs to up up the game so that we can be able to reach more people. Oh, yes, yes and they with... send people. This week I'll be in Ukunda and Kilifi. So, you know, it's about sponsoring. Send people to me. Let them know that, you know, let they provided they tell me Betty sent me. And, wow. you know, I'll be able to talk to them. It's it's really good. Can you some... tell us something? When you started being to these places, Maua, Dika, Ukunda, Kilifi, do you know anyone there? Oh. Or did you just go? Uh, for let me give you an, a good example. Uh, Kisumu, I didn't know anybody. Uh, I remember. I remember. Okay, you see now the network has, has brought itself. Let's just say this: you get somebody in Kisumu, they give you a name list for Embo. So what you do? The, all these people have been written in this name list. Nobody has joined. But we say that our business is about faith and what you want. So what do you what do you do? The company, you wait for the company event. They put the company event for him. What do you do? You invite all those people on behalf oh, of yeah. that person. You go to that Embu meeting not knowing who will come. Two people come, two out of 50, two. And that's how you start. And you team. are given the list from Kisum to Embu? You see the name list. I believe you know the name list. That name list, yes, you can I write do. people from across yes. Kenya. Yes, I do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm giving an example. Like now, I, 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 I had somebody who was not interested in the business, but she gave me the name list for Kilifi. I invited and one person went. I was not even there. Gladys Njura was there. And that lady paid everything. It's the lady I'm going to support in Kilifi. So it's just wow. about teamwork. I was not there even when my person died in Kilifi. It was Gladys Njura. Wow, and Gladys Jura told you. that person, Yan, you have to pay now. Do you know Chris Chege? This is you. <laughs> that lady was like, I want to talk to you. Who are you? Everybody in this meeting has are you seeing now the teamwork, the excitement? Glad Gladys Jura sponsored for me that person. I was not in Kilifi. I was brought a whole kit from Kilifi. But that's the same thing. When I go somewhere, I was in Kisumu just Saturday, and there were so many guests for a team of Gladys Jura and other leaders, including our upline Mugambi. So I talked to everybody. You know, it's teamwork. Just look the way Pitibudi has supported me to grow. So we uh, shall support. I, I think uh, you see me, I know the so many businesses in Kenya, and I know the reason why Grace is beating so many of us in Kenya and East Africa. Grace can invite in 10 places the same day. And she will make sure that all the people who attended that meeting, she has talked with them. That is why I'm telling you the kind of energy this lady has is crazy. So she has been able you to- You see, see when I was in Durban, yes. I was in Durban with you and yes. we had the Nakuru meeting. So a guy told me, hi, I'm, 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 I'm coming for the Nakuru meeting. I told him, is this your WhatsApp number? He told me, yes. So I went to WhatsApp and I called him. Hey, he saw I'm in Durban, he told me, hey, what can you get? You know, you already knew I was not in a crew. I mean, but you see that follow up, quick follow up speed is very important because I saw the message and I said, because I can't call him, let me ask him whether this is. And he told me, yes, it's my WhatsApp. I called him. I told him, you know, 
I'm in Daba, and but I don't want you to miss. I won't immediately get there. You ask for Naomi Masharia or you ask for Selin Sule. You see, now by the time I had already, already elevated the leaders, Naomi Masharia and Selin Sule. So by the time you go say, I say, I have been sent by Grace, who is in Daban, to see Selin Sule or Naomi Masharia. So you see, are you seeing that connection? Yes. We also need to elevate one another. Wow. I think I think uh, it's uh, we, we need to invite you again, Grace. You have a lot to share. Yes, with that. yes, I'll come again because yes, time is up. We will be inviting you next time so that you can come and share more. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really praying that uh, this year we get a president, and in Kenya, I can't see any other person to become a president before you. So you are Amen. our next president team member in. Kenya. It's possible. I'll keep working and I know you are supporting me and all these leaders. Thank you so much. And let's support each other. Yeah. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Have a lovely night. God bless you. Asante. Bye, Betty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Grace. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Grace. We are happy for you, Grace. Pity Thank Grace. you, Nancy. You'll become a pity in, uh, in a few months and we will follow up. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Thank you. I'm, coming. I'm happy coming. to see no. my friend Titus Mbai. Mr. Mbai, is that Mr. Mbai from Kobo? Yes, exactly. It's the one. Ah, my friend, how have you been? I'm happy to see you here. This hmm? week, this I'm happy weekend, to see Mr. Musungu. This weekend, I'm our in leader Nakuru. from Kitui. This weekend on Friday, I'm in Nakuru. So the Nakuru mm. team, Mangret, Mwangi, Winnie, Jubi, be ready. I'll be there. Good. Thank you so much, all the leaders. I'm so happy. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.